right, proud to have Satu Savali and Adi Gildan uh, up here. Um, I was actually really proud of our, our team. We've got uh, a lot of sickness and some, uh, not broken bones, but some, some people that have got to heal um, physically. And uh, so we were a little shorthanded tonight. But, man, I, I really was impressed with uh, the intensity that we came out with defensively. I thought did a great job in our – we mixed our defenses up. I thought we were solid and consistent all night long defensively. And so I'm really proud of these guys for that. Uh, offensively, uh, I thought we were on point again. Didn't shoot it from the three, I don't think, all that well. But uh, some good run outs, some, some good, uh, you know, just ball movement. We played kind of the way we do. So it was uh, not a pedestrian game, but it was just a solid game all the way around. No real highs, no real lows, just pretty consistent. That even keel something that you're you like to see this early in the season? Absolutely, absolutely. I um, though that's a business business like effort right there, and uh, I think that's uh, good, especially under the circumstances. You don't have Ruthie, but Audie stepped up and had a huge game. She's our Draymond Green, and she really <laughs> played like that today. And then Satu was uh, was just phenomenal, um, so good defensively, and uh, we turned him over. Uh, not a ton, but it seemed like when we did turn them over, we we scored on it. But uh, I thought these two really led the way tonight. Uh, Audie, when did you know you were going to start? Did you, did you feel any different kind of pressure? What was it like to kind of come through in that, that situation? Too? Um, he told me yesterday in practice. I was a little nervous. I haven't started in the college game yet, but I stepped up to the plate and played pretty well. So I was glad I could step up for the team and fill some big shoes that Ruthie has. This season, Audie, you kind of seem to have grown into the role quite a lot. What was it, something in the offseason that kind of fell in place for you? Or was it when you started camp this year that you kind of thought this would be a breakout year for you? Um, I think it started at the end of last year. I had a good run in the, at the end of the last year in the tournament, so I just wanted to make sure I kept going in the offseason and at the beginning of this season. How do you feel like you're getting up to speed defensively at a pretty good pace? you feel comfortable with the, your growth on the defensive end? Um, yeah, I think I'm adjusting pretty well to the game um, defensively. Defensively, um, I can still get better, of course. So I have the advantage to be really tall. <laughs> <laughs> so when I get into the paint, I kind of I can look over my opponents and. That's why I saw Audi in a dive. And I know that when they trap me, someone is free. And sh so she dove, and I, yeah, I knew she was there. So I just passed it. Kelly, can you tell us what's going on with Ruthie and when she got hurt? Well, she just got uh, uh, tweaked a little bit last game. That's all. It's more precautionary. She's going to be great. She's going to be fine. What ankle? I don't know if I'm allowed to really say, <laughs> but a body part. <laughs> you, you, you saw her in her boot, so. Mm -hmm. But uh, now she's she's gonna be fine, and uh, it's nice to know we, we have really good depth. And on any given night, it can be somebody else. You know, people forget that Adi uh, won two state championships, was the player of the year in the state of Washington a couple of years ago. Coming out of high school, was the highest, and, and not that we care about ratings or ranking. She was the highest rated player uh, recruit that Oregon's ever had, and. Uh, you know, and she's she's a heck of a player, and when we, you know, we just have so many other really good players, but like tonight we really needed her, and she steps up. This is not out of the ordinary. She's a great team player, and uh, you know, usually just does what what's best for the team. <coughs> that. Coach, after the early season road trip, you said that you felt that got your team some good prep for down the line. Now tonight, getting to sort of uh, flex the team's bench muscles a little bit. How do you think that affects? You? Well, I think it's great. You know, Hampton's a good team. They're picked to win their league. Uh, we saw them in the NCAA tournament last year. They were in the same sub-regional we were. Uh, they're going to uh, more than likely go to the tournament again. That's a really good team that we kind of made look uh, not, not as good tonight. So that, that, that's a good win. And they all can't be top 10 opponents. You just can't do it. So you're going to have nights like this when the, you know, when it's uh, uh, the, the, the marge, scoring margin is, is wide. You can still get a lot out of it. I told them, you know, before the game, Kind of assumed that we were going to take it to them, but listen, you just can't. You can't get lazy. You can't uh, take anything for granted. You got to go out and, 
and uh, and do the work, and that's I was really proud. Yeah, we we learned, we got better tonight. Along that line, given the uh, chance tonight or tomorrow to see the film, what what will you be looking for, and what do you want to see these kids make the next step for? Um, well, I, I think we still got to, we, we were a little casual with the ball, you know, second half, sometimes we lose a little focus uh, and make some kind of crazy mistakes turnover wise. Uh, but, you know, one of the emphasis we, we talked about going into the game was moving our feet, doing a better job defensively, limiting the fouls, 34 free throws the other night, eight tonight against a team who runs the dribble drive and they lower their head and, and go. And we did a great job against that. So to me, that shows that, you know, we're, we're getting better. In that area, it's something we really focused on the last couple of days. Um, we'll be looking at our blocking out. <laughs> you did a pretty good job, though. You had a lot of nine defensive boards, but overall, you know, we, we look at the same stuff all the time. And uh, I, I'm, listen, I'm really pleased. I thought it was a good effort tonight. See a lot of different facets to the game, obviously. You know, you guys are focusing on three free throws. <laughs> Well, and that was the other thing. We wanted to be more aggressive tonight. We took 12 free throws, I think, in the first half. A lot of those were in the first quarter, you know, whereas last game we only we only uh, shot six free throws. So we wanted to be more aggressive. Uh, that was an area of, of focus the last couple of days, and they responded. That's a sign of a mature, maturing team. What do you think the key has been as far as the, the last two opponents not being, being able to hit the free throw number one? Well, you know, I, I think we do a pretty good job. We're active in the zone. You got, you know, players like these two, they're so long, you know, contesting shots on the perimeter. Nothing, nothing's coming easy. And, uh, you know, we gave up a little bit to the Oklahoma post player. But at the same time, you know, we're giving up twos and not threes. And that uh, was the key to, to beating that team. And I think again tonight. Rodney, kind of uh, many of your a mini rookie. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Um, They're good friends. I yeah. Um, I think we're just different players. Like, he has a very good uh, post presence, and I think I do well playing both post and um, guard defensively. So, yeah. <laughs> um, for your first double double tonight, team high of 20 points and then 12 rebounds, does that come into effect? Like, were you realizing? Um, After I got pulled out the end of the third, I think one of the assistant coaches was like, "I want a twenty piece, and I need another rebound." So I was like, "Okay, <laughs> I'll do it." I I didn't really uh, pay attention to it, and Ruthie made, told me not to mess up. So <laughs> that, was, that was the goal tonight. <laughs> not to mess up. Yeah. Well, we we are a really good offensive team. I, I, I truly believe that we have uh, we can beat you inside, we can beat you outside, we can beat you with the three ball, and we can beat you off the off the dribble uh, in our pick and roll stuff. And so, for us to be an elite team, you have to guard, you have to defend. And so, I I think we're just getting better. We're trying to improve each and every game. And today, I thought we got better. I thought we got better the last game, and now hopefully we get a little bit better on Saturday in our next game. So. Yeah, that's for us to be a true contender, we have to, to be able to defend. Anything uh, else what? for uh, Kelly? Uh, so what, uh, what specifically uh, did you uh, look for on defense? Or what did you like specifically for your defense? Well, I liked that they were never comfortable. Uh, you know, I don't think they ever really got any into any kind of rhythm. They shoot the three really well. Um, uh, we got couple of their key players into foul trouble. And so then they become a little more tentative at both ends of the floor. Um, I just liked our activity. We challenged every shot. We, uh, you know, I don't know what our offensive re or defensive rebound percentage was, but we out rebounded them by 22. So, no, I, it's, again, solid effort. Anything else? All right. Okay, thanks you guys. Thank you. Have a great week. <laughs>